we started testing more and more and we figured out that a, a little more than half of those kids who we're seeing who are born with hearing loss have a genetic cause to their hearing loss. And in these cases, basically what's happening is that the child is born, usually they have uh, what's called recessive uh, inheritance to their genetic hearing loss, where they have a copy from mom and a copy from dad, basically. And both of those copies of a given gene uh, that is supposed to make some certain protein in the body have some variant that makes their process of producing the protein inefficient or may make it completely impossible. So they produce no protein, basically. So if you, if you end up having a genetic form of hearing loss, the sort of a simple way to think about it is basically you have some genetic variant that has been inherited usually that is causing you to have the deficiency of a given protein, like one protein in your inner ear that just so happens to be very important for your inner ear to function. So if we look at all the possible genes that can cause hearing loss in kids, we're talking about over a hundred, maybe 200 genes that have been identified now. But you can look across that whole list and really there's maybe a top 10 list, you know, uh, a top 10 list of genes that are causing about 80% of the cases that we're diagnosing in the clinic. So one of those that falls in that list is this particular uh, gene called otopharlin. So it codes for this protein called otopharlin. Otopharlin is really important for inner ear function. 